Okay, so T, I literally just left with Emily and left the record show. I could turn around. I'm not doing that, but I could. <laughs> and, good. but I'm not going okay. to. Okay. And, because I don't feel like going to get my laptop. Okay. Um, and I, for, and I realized I didn't put the vlog up. I edited it, but I did not put it up. So you're going to get the vlog for this week, for last week, late. <laughs> say this week, wait, which is last fine. Week. Which is fine because I don't really care. I really vlogged just to say, look, I got a breakfast sandwich from Emily. There she is, and and it made me happy. And then I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I didn't put the vlog up. So yeah, so we're on the way to Sam's house. As you can tell, hype for that. Emily got gas. Remember? Yes, I will not forget. Emily will not forget, but she might. I've been talking out loud. Up to she has for <laughs> since we left. She was like, gas, gas. Remember, remember. And I was like, mood. You're I'm right. gonna forget. She's gonna forget. Even though we're going to get to the gas station in maybe 30 seconds. <laughs> so, I don't know how to fix this problem. There's definitely a way to not do this. But, if I turn my car on and me and Joe's phone are connected, since Joe's was in the top slot, it connected to Joe's car and not Okay, mine. do you want to just move the slots then? Like, I'll just put yours on the top and mine on the bottom? I mean, okay. don't plug your phone in yet. Do not do it. It's yeah. not worth it. It's not worth it. So, now I'm on the side of a street with my car off, mm -hmm. plugging my phone in first to see if it works. And it did. Wait. Apple car. Wait. Okay, now you can plug your phone. I used to have to do that a lot. I don't know. There's definitely a way to not turn off my car and do it, but I don't know how. I used to, have to do that. I used to have, wait, I'm going to vlog on me now. I'm back. Anyways, I used to have to do that a lot because when I had the Civic, I obviously didn't have like legit Apple CarPlay. It was like yeah. third party, whatever. So sometimes when I would turn on my car, the screen just like the screen just would not turn on. We love that. And so I would just have to turn the car off or I know it wouldn't connect. The screen would turn on and, and it wouldn't connect. And then I was like, well, gotta turn the car off and turn it back on. Gotta reboot it like it's a phone. I don't, this, <laughs> see, this is Apple Play, but I don't know how to fix that problem. Oh my God, it's Emily, you're in problem. heaven. Thank you. <laughs> I'm dead. The <laughs> name of this vlog, Emily's in heaven. <laughs> not click, hashtag not click pay. Not click pay. You don't know it, but we've been passing a lot of military vehicles, and we don't know what's happening. I know the Rome base isn't like active anymore, but like, is there like a parade? I don't know about. <laughs> like, it's definitely not for a parade. I made the joke. This is. It could have been for a parade. I made the joke. This is when you know we're getting close to Rome. She did. She made that joke when we first saw the first like vehicle, and like, and like, there's just so many. Like, they keep going. All I'm saying is they're taking up one whole lane. And you think, I don't you think they'll try to kill me? Oh my god! Did I ever tell you? <gasps> we're getting off this road soon. Oh my god! Yes. Did I ever tell you how when I was coming home from work one day, I, I I I stopped and there was four tanks next to me. <laughs> did I, did I ever tell you that? Yeah. Because that was a thrill for me. Oh my god! That one has a turret. And Waterloo's play. Me with me with military vehicles couldn't escape if I wanted to. <laughs> they didn't give me barbecue sauce. <laughs> You should, have, you should have seen her face when she was eating the chicken. <laughs> she was not happy. I forgot that I can vlog again with Jolene by Dolly Parton playing in the background because we're on the way down. home from Sam's house. And I was like, oh my gosh, Sam's not here. I can vlog once more. Let the record show. We know that McDonald's supports Trump, so we don't support McDonald's. But we did the one, two, three rule where we passed two McDonald's and the third one we said, if we pass the third one, we're going to go. And it was a drive through It was a drive through So. It's good. Hey Sam, me and Emily are at High Hop because we had to drop Emily's car off at the Chevy because you you know this already. Yeah. And I had to pick her up, and then we went to IHOP. And I know that they support Trump, but I said that it's too short. My life is too short for me to not be happy. So we're at High Hop. We also determined every breakfast place supports Trump. Oh my God, they do. She's right. Every breakfast place on the planet supports Trump. So I was like, well, you know what? I'm just gonna go to IHOP because that's where I like to be, and I don't really have a lot of. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> she probably thinks I'm weird. That's and I fine. probably and I don't have a lot of stuff for this vlog this week. So I was like, you know what? I'll vlog a little Show something, something. Nose. I was about to say. So now I'm gonna give you a food tour. <laughs> I got the cannoli pancakes. They're cute. And then I got like the combo, which also like the bacon, the hash browns, and the eggs. And we got the cinnamon pancakes. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon, whatever. Cinnamon pancakes. <laughs> and she got white toast separately because she loves white toast. I do love white and toast. And then she got the combo as well. Mm -hmm. And then we both got apple juice. And I got water. And I got coffee. And I wanted milk, but I got half and half. That's fine. <laughs> and that's it. Y'all, I still don't really have footage for this vlog. So here's just random Lorenzo footage of him doing nothing. Lorenzo, do you want the sock? Probably not. 
<laughs> we love we love him. He doesn't care. Sock, sock who? Lorenzo. It's a baby. He's just waiting for mommy to come home. That's all he wants. That's all who he ever wants. But I feel that. But I put it over your eye. You hear that? No. Oops, my finger. My my finger went off. Say hi to the camera, Lorenzo. Nope, not interested. Let's just keep. This is gonna look right in the vlog. Eh. I'm sorry, Emily's getting gas, and this guy parked his car really super close to Emily. I'm like, fuck that bitch. But look at this dog. It's forgiven though. Look how happy he is. Or she. We love him, her. They're so curious about the world and what's around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Love him. Oh my god. So yeah. Just like, fuck this guy. Like, come on. Park your car closer. But look, I aggressively love your dog, sir. We should take the dog. The dog is mine now. The boy is mine, but the dog is mine. Just that, so, just that like, redubbed. Okay. I accidentally deleted the whole thing. Fuck! Bing mood. Emily's using the Letterbox app. She's very excited. So, Sam, we just got out of Hustlers, which is the stripper movie with J-Lo in it. And Sam, I can't emphasize how iconic that entire movie was. Like, why did this have better sound design than most Oscar winning movies? You're right! <laughs> <laughs> That's my review. Uh, mine was to not, it does not spoil really anything. I wrote J-Lo was right. This world is a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> that is what she said. You're right. That's what she said. And I'm like, you know what, Jayla? You're right. Um, I did not What look if you rate it? Five. I'm doing four and a half. I'm not pretending. The, okay. Why was the half gone from? You know why? Yeah. Because they used real... Well, I don't actually know if they were real. But they were it, like... They used fur coats. That was almost my review. My review originally <laughs> was going to be, I stand everything about this movie except for the chinchilla fur coat. I was going to say. That was going to be, that was gonna be yeah. my review, but I liked the other one better. So I went with the other one. But let the record show that was the one I had in my head throughout the most of that movie. This is the first movie I've seen in a while where I did not check my watch to see when it was going to end, like what time it is. I, I've, I've edited it. <laughs> You're right. You're right. At J-Lo, you should know better. And at Constance Wu, you should know, you should also know better. Um... Yeah, they did everything about that movie I liked. It was funny when it was meant to be funny. It was sad when it was meant to be sad. They did some really cool shit with the audio that you'll understand if you see the movie. <laughs> Look at my... I only reviewed two films. One is a one. One was a one. One, one was, was a five. five. Basically. That's iconic. <laughs> That's very on brand. I can't wait to look at my progression either. A majority of mine probably stick around the three and a half. I'm kind of a picky bitch, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, you have any contributions about... This film. Um, Lizzo was iconic. Oh my god, there were so many famous ones. Uh, Kiki Palmer, I think. This Kiki is her Palmer, best role. Lizzo, Cardi B, <laughs> Lily Reinhardt from Riverdale, Constance Wu, J Lo, at Sam. Usher. Oh, oh, Usher's in this movie, Sam. <laughs> Go see it for Usher. Usher. And, and that reminds me, we have to listen to some Usher bops later. Oh, yes, we but, do. um, oh my god, that girl, Janine, that's her name, Janine from, from, um, the, I, the Handmaid's Tale? Why could I just... I blanked on that. Janine from The Handmaid's Tale was in this movie. I was... Yes, that, she was. I, it was like from the most shook of me finding people in this movie. It was like Usher and then Janine. Because I knew <laughs> about like Izzo. Well, Izzo. Izzo. Lizzo. Izzo. Lizzo's doppelganger. Lizzo and um, Cardi B and like all the other ones I already knew about. But like these are just random people I wasn't expecting to be in this movie. I have to say Kiki Palmer like dancing all up on Lizzo is a goal. Oh my god. Kiki Palmer was like probably the best side character in this she movie. Was so she was so fun. funny. I love she did everything right. Like she was just like Cardi B essentially just played Cardi she B. Was her and Lizzo also essentially just played Lizzo. Like Lizzo, Lizzo was literally introduced to us through her playing a flute. <laughs> like Lizzo was just Lizzo, which I appreciated. And they and they weren't really in the movie for the long, for the long which 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 is if I took half a star away I gave it the full five stars because it's what this movie deserves but if I took a half a star away it would be because Lizzo and Cardi B were not in the, in the movie fair. for as much as they should have been and the only thing I was kind of vaguely confused about is that I thought I thought like when I saw the trailer it had very Ocean's Eight energy and then after we saw the movie it still had Ocean's Eight energy but not as much energy as I thought. I thought this was just going to be like a discount Ocean's 8, and it definitely was. But, like, it wasn't as much Ocean, Ocean, 
Ocean, ocean. Well, blah, 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 blah. Ocean's 8, as I thought it was going to be. Like, Ocean's 8, it was all about, like, the scheme, getting the group together, then doing the scheme, and then mm -hmm. leaving. This was more like, here's a, back here's a backstory to everything that happened. Here is what happened to these characters. Here's, like, 20% of a scheme, and then here's the repercussions from the scheme. Like, it was kind of... It was way more plot for a stripper movie than I thought there was. You're right. Be. It was um, really good. That hot take, that's the best comedy I think I've seen since Bridesmaids. Ooh, that's a hot take. That's my hot take. And that could have also been my review, but it wasn't. <laughs> and that's it. Sam, you need to go see Hustlers. Go see it. I demand it.